It's locked. Here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes, but this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Mother, do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but... He leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. And you were there too. And Mary? No. That can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Tell me, Mother, how are you? All alone in this big house with only Avery to take care of you. I'm sad most of the time. Sad that you have left me here alone. Sad that you don't tell me when you come or go. I'm so sorry, Mother. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was coming home. I was home. London, the Thames, and then it happened. What happened, Johnny? I was attacked, Mother. And I've not been the same since. The important thing is that you finally returned home. I was worried, you know. You were the last member of the family of whom I had no news. Even Mary comes more often than you. Do you think Avery is right? Do you think I should take better care of you? I don't blame you, but you abandoned me, son. A mother should not survive her children. It's unbearable to know you're not here anymore. I know I have failed you since I returned. I even watched you bury Mary from a distance. From now on, I will protect you. You have my word. You don't have to apologize to me, Johnny. Do you think I did not notice how much you have changed? Have I changed that much, Mother? Am I still your son? You are still, and you'll always be. Despite your pale skin, your bloody eyes, and that echoing sadness in your voice. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home.
Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. Do you need my medical attention, Mother? I'm all right, son. Don't worry about me. Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. <laughs>